Day zero is the moment before company formation. When a founder decides to take the plunge, follow their dream, and commit to pursuing their vision of change. On day zero, you'll hear founders tell their story. Forming the company, that was the easy part. Putting a company together, leading, putting teams together, I've been doing that all my life. What was difficult was how to move from control freak, CEO type, to being a collaborative investing team member. The bigger thing for me was actually going on the first home visit into a house in sort of right outside of the Las Vegas Strip in Nevada and getting to see one of our patients um, probably, I don't know, six, 12 months after the program had launched, shadowing a nurse practitioner there and actually being in the home as the patient got the news that she was in remission from, from cancer, which was something that we had helped her manage through both from a medication perspective and more broadly just simply being sort of the companion in that time period. When we merged all of our electronic records and someone said to me, look, you can see every single history and physical ever written. And I looked at them and I'm like, but I still only have 20 minutes to see the patient. I don't have four or five hours to read every single history and physical. What is to me very exciting right now is we're finally starting to get some leverage on some of the tools out there to say, letting clinicians like myself, Rick, others to say, I don't need to read every single piece and go in, comb out some insights. Long term, the whole story is going to be around genomics. It's going to take that long to get it to where it needs to be, you know, develop CRISPR, develop the CAR-T systems, uh, they're only scratching the surface now. They described how they're going to cure um, sickle cell disease about four years ago, and they still have done less than 100 patients. So we, we have to learn how to industrialize those techniques. Always invest in people that you want to get in trouble with. And in this case, I think it would be good trouble. The desire to start a company is like a medical pathology it has passed down genetically from parents. To me in healthcare, the fact that we've gone from no data to data, we're basically moving to a whole new era. What this decade will be about will be around kind of the decentralization of healthcare. Understanding the role of Washington is a big part of what it looks like to get it right as a founder. I'm excited from a day zero to really go through the personal journey, the choices of of these founders in creating you know, their vision of the future. Behind every company is a founder with ambition, goals, dreams, and wisdom to be shared. Let's explore them together.